Hi guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan, and we're taking a look at an auction purchase here of a year 2000 Mitsubishi Delica minivan. This one with gasoline engine, four wheel drive with selectable low gear range. Automatic transmission, and this one is the special XE model, which I didn't even know existed until we bought this one and so this is a surprise to me what the xe is is you get sliding doors on both sides instead of only on the passenger side and the reason why that's a big deal is because this one is going to canada and that puts the sliding door on the curb side so no longer do you, no longer do your kids get to jump out of the door and get hit by cars now they can jump out of the door and get hit by skateboarders or bicyclists or rollerbladers so 3,000 cc gasoline engine. These do come with diesel engines. The diesel ones are the ones that everybody wants. They're now about three times, four times more than the gasoline ones, depending on condition. Okay, all the fluids in there look to be pretty nice, pretty normal, fine condition. You'll find fluids are commonly changed pretty well here in Japan compared to elsewhere because you have to get the vehicles inspected here every two years. It gets people in the habit of maintaining their cars very well, I think on average at least. Uh, this one going to Canada is going to our friend Ben from Fraser Valley Imports. He is a cool dude and if you need anything in, uh, if you're in BC and you, and you need anything for importing a car or any advice or anything like inspections, then he can help you uh, with that. It looks pretty awesome with the lift knobbly tires front grill guard over fenders on it funny thing though the grill guard kind of gets right in the way of your headlights i don't know how that's going to affect driving but uh that's something that i did notice okay so let's take a look at the auction sheet and then we'll go over the condition of the car of course this is the information that we get on the car before we buy it and i'll show you that second sliding door because it is so slidey Year 2000's Delica Space Gear XE model. I don't know how popular this model is. I have to think that it's probably not that common. And so, don't know. Auction rate 3.5, interior C, exterior C, of course, four wheel drive, eight seater. And so what that means is two seats in the front and then two rows of three. But we do have a bunch of tires in the back. Here's something you don't get to see on these videos usually. This is how the seats fold up against the wall and then that gives you the cargo room if you need it. Pretty useful, I would say. You get lots of room in the back if you fold those seats up, and not everyone needs that many seats, to be honest. Okay, 108, 110 kilometers, original silver color, kind of a rare color, automatic transmission, aftermarket HD navigation with toll collection boxes for Japanese highways, useless outside of Japan, aftermarket wheels, and they are lovely wheels with awesome tires on them. This is exactly what you need on a Delica because then nobody gets to say, ha ha, you're driving a minivan. You can say, yeah, I can drive over stumps and trees, and you can't, sports car guys. Okay, aftermarket suspension, that is a lift. I don't know exactly how much. And then over fenders put on there uh, to allow a little bit more clearance because here in Japan, they're very sticky about making sure that the tire is inside the fender there, at least at the top of the tire, if the bottom is okay for some reason. And hence why you get all those weird cambered cars from Japan. Okay, purchased from user, various aftermarket parts. So see in person for details about that. And then the inspection from the auction here. Windshield rock chip, interior scratch, dirty, cigarette burn, wear, rip. Original wheels are in the car. Boo boo boo, can't ship wheels in the car because customers would be like, no, you can't do it. And so you can't ship them by post either because post is like, oh, you need to take the tires off of the wheels because it's a hazard, even though it's not. And so it is an unfortunate situation. Usually the wheels and tires just get tossed out. Uh, okay, seat, cigarette burn and rip. I'll show you that in a sec. Steering wheel wear over fender cracked and comes up. That's this back one here. Underside surface rust, wheels scratched, various scratches, dents, paint fade on the car and W2. And then uh, this car was set in a special section of the auction where the reserve is 
uh, can't be any higher than 100,000 yen. And so that's in US dollars, uh, $800 is the maximum reserve possible. That's not necessarily to say that's how much it will sell for, but if there are no other bidders, you would win this one for 100,000. Usually people put their cars into that section when they want to draw more attention to it and have more bidders. So usually, usually you'll see the bid go up past that. Okay, paint cracks on the front bumper there. Marks from hood being uh, taken off and put back on. Paint cracks here, bad paint here, paint peeling on the roof, A3U2 here, that was a large scratch and medium dent, and then bad paint on this side here with paint cracks on the back. So, I'm not gonna say that the condition of this one is superb. I, I think it's it's suitable. I, I don't think it's bad, and so, I think overall a good vehicle. Here are the two big dents on this side. You can see one right next to the fender flare. When I come back around the next time, I'll show you an up close of that. This is a low roof model. And uh, yeah, the paint's bad in places. I'm still happy with this one though. I think it's easy to be happy with these Delicas when you have knobbly tires and a lift and a big grill guard and you have dents in them that says, I'm actually using my car off-road. That's why I got the off-road tires so that I can go off-roading. And then cars don't stay clean when you go off-roading. There's always a tree there ready to jump out in front of you and say, surprise, fender present for you. Fender dent present. That's what I tried to say. Surprise! Dent in your fender! Ha ha! Okay. So Iba works. Front grille guard. It actually came with a set of other large size lamps made by Bosch. Slightly smaller than these ones. It's annoying me that one of them is a little higher than the other. Oh well. Okay. Look at that. Look at all that lift. Woo! Now these, I mean, they're not Land Cruisers, they're not Samurais, and so they're not uh, super good off-road. They're independent suspension, better for on-road, but they do have a low-range gearbox. They can get a lot of places where typical cars can't. And uh, pretty good ground clearance, I would say. It's definitely usable. Okay, so you have matching side uh, steps on both sides, and I think that's kind of cool, because the asymmetrical ones, on the version that has one sliding door kind of bugs me for some reason. Now this is the one that you can extra open. This fender comes up. See how it's a little bit away? So when you open this door you have to push this in, which I can't do two-handed, but I did open the door. It is openable and so the whole benefit of having this... Let's see if we can do this actually. Push in. Now you can just get that fender put on properly and you won't have any problems. So this is the magic door that you don't usually get. And it might look normal to you, but it is very cool. All right, don't get hit by skateboarders. And then over to the other side. Now I've had this dream that I get a car with two sliding doors and I Superman jump between the two doors but I've never had the courage to do it. But this car I think would be a little bit challenging because it is taller. You'd have to jump over this seat too. Kind of tricky. Okay, so I already did show you this. That's how that works. Pretty easy to do. It can, the seats can be in the up position, changed to the down position in less than a minute. You get all sorts of vents up there. It's almost comical how many vents that you have up there for the rear AC and then a flip down TFT, LCD, color monitor, but they spelled color wrong. Take a look at that. <coughs> Idiots. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's good. The seats here have been changed to Shamoni seats, which are the uh, leather-ish <laughs> seats. They're fairly good. I don't really care for them that much. And then one of the driver's seat has a cigarette burn and uh, rips on it. Extra table here. I guess that's cool. It's very Japanese. Steering wheel cover. AC is nice and cold. Mechanically everything is good. 
Okay. Yellow. Let's look at the dents. So here's, uh, I guess it's easier to see when door is closed. So the cracked fender there with the dent. And I did get another video showcasing this in more detail. So I'm going to be a little bit quick. Here's the other one right here. Okay. And now imagine you're seeing this car for the first time and you're like, wow, that's cool. You're not really looking right there, even though it is noticeable. I have to mention the wheels kind of look like Pano Sport or Watanabe's or Mini Lights. Cool design. Okay, aftermarket exhaust. It's actually kind of loud. And then uh, aftermarket rear bar there. Pretty cool. And you can see what it's like to load stuff in the back. Pretty easy. Okay, so, oh, just found a new thing. This car is special needs. Okay, I'm going to leave that because it looks like it requires more hardware to secure that in properly. And then rear mirror here that you can see how far the back of your car is away from anything. Super easy for parking it. Okay, so that's about all. Oh wait, no, didn't show you. <laughs> didn't show you the front. Let's not be stupid. Okay, close the awesome door. Oh, and these lamps are missing on both sides. Okay, nice big doors, really easy to get into even when it's tall. This seat here is uh, up to here on my stomach. Do you see? So that's how high up that you sit in this car. All right, let's look at the cigarette burn. Do you see it there? And the cracks. And it's not real leather, it's just leatherish. All right, up we go. The XE model seems like it's a lower trim. Probably it's a model that's it's used for like, um, like old folks homes tend to have vehicles like this so that it's easier to get people in and out of them with the extra door. But then it's a fleet vehicle so it has the non-climate control AC, no parking sensors, uh, no thermometer and uh, kind of like what is it, the, the pitch and the roll sensor that they have, uh, the regular Delica has. But you do have a navigation screen there, and this would be a pretty awesome old folks home uh, to be using this vehicle because it has the big tires in it. That's your selectable transfer case. Four high, four, two high, four high, four high locked, four low locked. So that's what you get. No switch on here, that's weird. Okay, so that's basically going to be it for this review here. Mitsubishi Delica XE. And I wonder if we're gonna get people asking for these now. Every time that we post a video of something a little bit different, we'll get four or five emails from people saying, hey, can I get one too? So we'll see. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section and either me or some of the other people who watch this can answer the questions. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.